It's Professor Kristen. I hope the following videos will help you through nursing school, will help you as a new nurse, and even as a seasoned nurse, if you're having to refresh some of those skills. So if you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Professor Kristen. Let's watch, let's practice, and you can be great at giving injections. So let's get started. So first, we have checked our patient. We, uh, we have identified our patient. We have checked our medication. We have done our six rites. Some facilities might teach seven, some even eight rites. But for us, it's six rites. We have that all. We've done our three MAR checks, med to MAR, medication administration record. We've done our two identifiers, and we have checked for allergies. So now let's draw our medicine and give our injection. So we would want to expose the, the inner arm for an intradermal. So normally when we're giving an intradermal injection, we'll give it right into this area right here. So we'll have exposed that and we're going to clean it with an alcohol wipe. This is actually my arm that I'm gonna actually do my intradermal injection. There are other sites you can inject. Here's some information for you. So we're gonna go ahead and I want to go ahead and I will wash my hands. I'm using hand gel. I want to go ahead and put on my gloves. I'm going to take an alcohol wipe and I want to go ahead and clean the injection site in a circular motion starting from the inside and going out. Make sure it's good and clean. As it's drying, I'm going to draw up my medicine. I have a vial, it's a multi-use vial. Multi-use are brand new vials. Evidence-based practice has proven that we swab the top of all vials. So another alcohol wipe, I'm gonna start on that rubber stopper with my thumb, doing a circular cleansing motion. Now, you don't have to clean the whole vial. I've seen students do that. Just this rubber top area, and I go ahead and clean the top out just to get the top part where I'm gonna actually put my needle that will go into the patient to make sure it's good and clean. So I wanna go ahead, I picked a TB syringe to do my intradermal injection. That is normally a very small needle and only a one milliliter syringe. I'm going to open it, remove it from the packaging, and then I want to go ahead and take off my cap and I'm going to draw down. I'm gonna give 0.1. The thing with TB syringes is that they have very small dosing so that you can get a very accurate dose. Rubber section, and I want to go center of that section. I'm going to push my air in. I'm going then to flip my vial and I'm going to draw what I want out, and I'm going to turn. Make sure you're not touching the plunger, you're touching the bottom of the stopper and the actual finger guards or finger rests, and I'm gonna go ahead and draw back what I need to do my intradermal. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out. I'm going to actually thump it, making sure there are absolutely no air bubbles. I do not see any. Then I want to go ahead and push up till I see a little drop of the medicine. That's how I know I have the exact dose. It is correct. I'm looking at the top of my plunger. That's where I measure the dose. I have no air bubbles and a little Bleb of medication is at the tip of the needle. Bevel up, and I want to get a two by two. I like to do this technique. I take, 
put the two by two between my ring and my middle finger so it's ready for me. I'm going to just actually not pinch up, but pull the skin taunt. I'm doing my thumb, pulling the skin taunt, bevel up 10 to 15 degrees and going in under the skin and now I'm ready. I take my non-dominant hand, hold the syringe, and I'm gonna slowly make my bleb. I see a bleb that's a little bubble that comes up under the skin. I then am going to let the skin go, let that sit, pulling out my needle. I will just not push the bleb to, to push the bubble back into the skin because that is what I want. I, but just to make sure no blood or fluid comes, it looks good. And then this actually has a guard. You pull the base of the syringe and it goes up. One thing I do want to show is at a different angle. If I am going in with an intradermal, I'm 10 to 15 degrees above the skin. So I would angle myself. Going in, I would have pulled the skin down, taunt, and I'm going under at that angle. I want you to look at the angle and look at my ring finger kind of banking the needle. In I would go. I release the skin with my non-dominant hand, holding the syringe, and then gently engaging what is in the needle, injecting in for an intradermal injection. Safety first, remember, do not recap a dirty needle. Use the scoop method. Do not aspirate. You can do this.